Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. And yes, we're gonna talk about it. What do you have there? My, my, my Sharona. Okay. My, 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 my. Okay, we have a dance here. We have soon. Okay, so we, okay. we'll have an entrance. Okay, so anyhow, yes, I am wearing you. Okay, so this are okay. This is uh, the theme here is the degree. Okay, these are your time, this is your placement in your chart. Okay, you can get it tomorrow. That's the big drop. It's custom made for you. You can get it based on your sun, moon, or ascendant placement because let's face it, size doesn't matter. Degree does. Okay, in astrology, it does. Okay, and in tarot, your ex doesn't matter. <laughs> So let's begin because we're gonna do the laundry. <laughs> okay, so check it out tomorrow. And if you get it in a set, this is the whole bundle of love. Oh, it comes in this wonderful, wonderful box. Last year we had the Hilda Hoodie success. Okay, and then now we're doing this custom. Okay, custom. We make it ourselves. You will see. I've been making it since last night. <laughs> so let's begin over here. All right. Okay. We've been brewing on this since last year. So after the heal, the success, then it says, like, oh, next year we're going to do it again. Okay. So let's see here. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Are you going to go there? Okay. <laughs> well, it's not like yeah, I need to show you there. You can see it in my in picture in picture over here. Nine of Swords. Ouch. Okay. Okay. What happened, Gemini? I was all happy over here and we're supposed to be vibing here with the nine of, with the happiness. Nine of Swords, of course, stress got you. Okay. There's something in the situation you're in in life that you're overthinking. Chances are it's nothing. Nine of Swords. Now, worried, sick, stress, anxiety, mental frustration is a sword. Um, as much as I want, let's just move on from this card, okay? Because we all know that it's about mental anguish to the point that you feel paralyzed and you can't move. Something, okay, creeps on you every time and you just worry like a mother, son of a, mm. Yes, it just eats you up in the inside. Okay, let me see here. Nine of Cups. Oh, okay. So... Is this like a fear of missing out? Okay, because the Nine of Cups is there. Oh, everybody's happy. Everybody's partying. Nine of Swords like, I'm here and I'm sick. You could be bedridden. Okay, Nine of Swords. I'm not saying that you are bedridden, but you could be like, oh my God, I'm sick. Okay. Or you're sick of this person because they're self-righteous and so, uh, they only think about themselves and their own happiness. So whoever you're connecting with, okay, which actually Taurus got it this way. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, you got it this way. So you may be connecting with a Taurus. Um, it frustrates you because why they can't understand that you also need some love and affection. You fear you you feel left out by the person that you're connecting with. Okay. Mm. Now, I rarely do this because I already start the reading. But since I feel like it's a drag energy coming from the Taurus, I will do again. <laughs> I don't do that. I never repeat a reading. But I feel like that's that's an energy being pulled from the Taurus. I will get another deck because it's repetitive and we don't want that, right? Okay. So that's a good reading there. That's done. Okay. <laughs> so let's see here. Judgment, death card, get rid of the Scorpio. Man, you need some cleansing. You don't need a shirt. <laughs> so, but seriously. Vibe like me. Okay, by tomorrow, sign up to the newsletter. Only you can do this to me, where I will read another one where we're already halfway into this read. Let's see. Ace of Cups! Amen, so thank you, thank you, so thank you for drawing again. So if this is like a Vegas, okay, you went all in in the first one, you lost, now you're winning, okay? So it's all about new love, okay? We don't know what's the second card, okay? <laughs> New love, Sal. New love, bring it. Bring it. I don't know why I'm yelling. Oh, yeah. So the Gemini does deserve this affection and care, and it shall be given. As above, so below. Why did you date? 
so low. That's my next tagline for my shirt. That's me. I own that phrase. Just saying, okay? Because a lot of people is manifesting the greatness and then they look here in reality. What did you bring here? Okay. <laughs> a lot of people has, well, I have high standard. I don't eat to those bad restaurants, you know, like that, for example. Oh, I only ride German cars, you know. Oh, I love quality bags and shoes. And mind you, look into their phone book. Who was the last person that they dated? Mm-hmm. Just saying. So much for your standard, I see. Okay. <laughs> but you have standards. King of coins. Yes. I want someone who's ready, Sal. I want someone who's just like primo, king of pentacles. Yes. Okay. Ready to settle, ready to commit, and loyal. Okay. I feel like you want someone like me. <laughs> no, you don't want someone. I'm the worst. Okay. I'm a nightmare. Okay. I'm always at the store, making your shirt, doing your chart, teaching, all these things. I'm never available. Okay. King of Pentacles with Ace of Cups. All right. Good provider, though. Ask and you shall receive, basically. Okay. King of Pentacles with Ace of Cups because they got money. Okay. Someone got money. This is someone who will throw, put an extra fries on that one. <laughs> You see that meme? Okay. They were ordering in a fast food and then someone else like, yeah, biggie size that. Someone got money. Okay. Why not, Gemini? Why not? Here we go. Nine of Pentacles. All right. You're aiming for someone single, independent, healthy. Okay. We love this. Let's keep going. Okay. No insecurity. You don't have to deal with their insecurity, their jealousy. You, oh, that's another thing to think about. When someone is jealous... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Seven of Cups. A lot of choices, a lot of options is in your cards right here. True love is about to be found. Ace of Cups to the Seven of Cups. You're about to get married. I'm just saying. Because you're you're going to find out a true love. Oh, Okay. I'm going to lose a Gemini to someone. <laughs> it's okay. okay. We had a good run, Gemini. Okay. At some point, you will not watch Tarot anymore. You will just keep going to eTreatLove.me, the number one store. Okay. <laughs> you have your Knight of Wands. Okay. Someone is coming in fast. Very, very attracted to you, Knight of Wands. A traveler is a Knight of Wands. Extreme sport is Knight of Wands. They don't read books, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Their attention span is so short. Mm -hmm. But the other one might not be short because we know the Knight of Wands wants to have a good time. The Sun card with the King of Pentacles. Exaltation. No, no. I'm um, Karka. Karka, not Exaltation. It's not Aries. Someone is in the government, works for the government, is the Sun in the, the, in the, um, in the King of Pentacles. Entrepreneur, darling. Entrepreneur. Um, with the Sun and the King of Pentacles here, driven, motivated. I feel like art is also. They have this passion for arts that they never pursue. And when they meet you, they will pursue that. Love it. Okay. May have a baby, but separated. Okay. Or wanting to have a baby because the Knight of Wands with the Sun card looking for a family. Oh, okay. Get a full card. Yes. Okay. Knight of Pentacles with a full card. Adventurous type, like what I told you. Um, willing to commit though and have explored their life as a single person and they're ready. Okay. So this is when you go to a casa, okay, to the car shop, okay. Go to the car shop. I want that. Okay, there you go. So the full card is ready here. Mm -hmm. They're very on the go. They're just they're just like you, fun, creative. You know, I'm a little bit confused some day. Maybe like 29 days of the month, you're confused with the seven of cups. Okay, because this is you. You're always like I don't know. And then there you go. The moment that you've been waiting for, Seven of Pentacles. You don't need to wait anymore. Someone is here, is gonna take a chance on you. A lot of people like their exes. This reading is not for that. I can tell you that for sure. These are for Geminis who's looking for the future. 2022 is around the corner. So ask yourself, <laughs> just a friendly advice, okay? Can we flip the page of our life? All right, so here it is, Gemini. Wonderful new love coming your way. We shall see what happens next because the wait is over with the Seven of Pentacles. How this true love that is coming your way will materialize and we will find out. And for the rest, of course, we are serving the Gemini, okay? So this comes, of course, in different placements. So you could, we do the chart for you. 
cost them by your degrees right here, and then you're just gonna slay it together with all the placements that you have. Wonderful gift for your best friend, your siblings, you know, the person in the office who you barely talk to. <laughs> just give them something this holiday, okay? And then we will come up also with this um, shirt for the excess, okay? And then it's just a three of swords right here. <laughs> and then you tell them, thank you for the betrayal. I'm better now. <laughs> There's nothing like that here, but with the first deck, ooh, darling, good thing we got it. We got away from that one. Okay, so channeling the good energy for the Gemini. Stay, um, what do you call it? slaying, even though you're not. It's not Christmas, and your name is not Santa Claus because you're winning over here. Somewhat similar to Pisces. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the extended. Sign up to my newsletter. Visit my website, itreadlove.me, and also my shop in Los Angeles. Bye, guys.